from the local station, the 10 o'clock news starts now. A hundred million vaccines in a hundred days. Expected to finish ahead of schedule. Today, President Biden told the nation he expects to hit that mark tomorrow. This is a time for optimism, but it's not a time for relaxation. About 75 million Americans have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. According to the CDC, about 116 million vaccine doses have been administered in all. Today, though, the vaccinations paused in Jacksonville. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel is joining us live from the federal site near Gateway Mall with a look at the local vaccination efforts. This site had to close early today because of the severe weather, but it will be back open again at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now, this federally run site did run out of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, but it did not impact its capacity. Officials say that there are plenty of the other vaccines left here, and they're hoping more people will take advantage of that. Federal vaccination sites throughout Jacksonville were empty Thursday afternoon after closing early for severe weather. Before closing, 62-year-old Ernestine Ditton became the 30,000th person to get the vaccine at the three FEMA-run sites. Despite the milestone, the sites have struggled with low turnouts. News for Jacks found that since March 3rd, 60% of doses available over the last two weeks have been administered between the five state and federal sites in Jacksonville. To combat that, Incident Commander Rob Beasley says the state and FEMA sent out hundreds of staffers to go door to door and even bringing patients to the vaccination site. Despite the efforts, the number of doses administered continues to lower the the site's capacity. Right now, only people who meet the government criteria can get the shot. This includes people age 60 and older, firefighters and law enforcement over 50, school personnel, healthcare workers, and the medically vulnerable to be vaccinated. There are plenty of people who don't meet the criteria that are being turned away after showing up to the site hoping to get a leftover vaccine. Several weeks ago, we put together a standby list, people on a list that um, in the event there was a drawn unused vaccine, we could call them. That list is over 300 right now, and those are people who don't fit the current criteria. So there is an interest outside the current criteria. Again, this site will be back open at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Officials encourage anyone who meets that criteria to come up here and get the vaccine. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station.